just to, to back up here, so with the Consumer Directed Personal Assistance Program, we know that there are um, thousands of people taking advantage of this program. Um, we have, fortunately, the Journal News in, in my region has documented the case of uh, Nick Astor, who is a Brooklyn resident, is attending uh, purchase and is in entering his second semester and had to fight all these hurdles, but through the Consumer Directed Personal Assistance Program is there attending college. He is living with cerebral palsy and now is in fear that this program is gonna go away. All the work that he's done, it just won't be feasible for him. So with this major change that's happening and although we say that it's not directly to the consumer, but all these gutting the system and changing the providers uh, and all the work that's being done, whether on the front end or the back end, is gonna have a major impact. And so I, I know you've talked about that this is with DOH. However, it impacts the people that OPWD is responsible for. And what is gonna be done with someone like Nick? Is he now gonna have to enter the self-directed uh, program? Is that even feasible? Where will these people go? So I, I am familiar with Mr. Astor's story, and it's a remarkable one. And, and I think he's pursuing, a, you know, I guess the American dream, uh, and, and doing it in a way that's really remarkable. Uh, I once again don't. I'm not familiar enough with either the specifics of, of, of the kinds of services uh, he receives, or how those may be impacted by the changes to really comment further. Um, but absolutely. Um, that's something that I, you know, I'd be happy to look into to make sure that if there's some supports and services that we at OPWDD may be able to provide um, that he was seeking, that we would be able to uh, help him continue to achieve his, his goals in life. Well, I know I, I sound like a broken record because we've been talking about it all day here about the workforce. There's a, there's a, there's a crisis going on. Any provider will tell you the, the turnover is dramatic. The impact to the, to the residents that they're serving is dramatic. Um, this is going to fall on OPWD's lap. What can we do to assure uh, people like Nick that have fought so hard um, that they're going to be there, that the program is going to be there for them, and, and for the people that maybe aren't as um, as uh, persistent as Nick has been, um, to the people out there that want to follow in his shoes, what do we say to them? Well, you know, OPWDD works you know every day and tirelessly to make sure that. Every individual with developmental disability can lead the richest life possible. Uh, we have a moral and legal commitment to making sure that everybody uh, who has a developmental disability can live the life of their choosing. And so we keep working on that. So what I would say is that we're going to work very hard to make sure that that's a, a truth for every person that we serve. 